<laughs> and we're live. Um, hello, everybody, and welcome to our uh, second part of our Facebook Live sessions. My name is Claire Williamson, and I'm a product manager here at Fox Telecom. Um, today, I'd like to talk to you about um, what is fiber to the home, what are the benefits of fiber to the home, uh, what is the process of getting fiber installed, and also just give you some advice on how to choose a package that best suits your needs. Um, before I get going, I'd like to first thank you all for tuning in this morning. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to pop them through to me during the session, and I will try and answer as many as possible. Um, let's start by answering the ultimate question. What is Fab to the Home? So Fab to the Home, otherwise known as FTTH, um, is effectively the delivery of communication signals over optical fiber. This is the latest advancement um, in broadband internet technology. And it allows for faster data transfer compared to the standard um, uh, copper cables that we have available in most South African homes today. Um, fiber optic cabling will effectively be replacing existing copper infrastructure um, such as ADSL. FTTH is a relatively new and rapidly growing method um, of providing foster connectivity and higher bandwidth to the consumer environment. Um, it promises to bring much faster speeds than ADSL, in fact up to 250 times faster than of traditional copper forms of connectivity. Um, this will enable more robust video, um, internet and voice services. It offers more bandwidth and more flexibility, um, the alternatives and at a very similar cost, surprisingly enough. Um, okay. So how does fiber differ from ADSL? So ADSL has an average speed of around 10 megabits per second, and it uses telephone lines to transmit data along copper cables, which terminates on your nearest telephone exchange from your home. The further you are from the exchange, um, the slower your speeds will be. Copper cables are also often affected by bottlenecks, meaning the more internet traffic there is on at one time, the slower your download speed will be. Copper theft is also quite rough in South Africa, as we all know, and um, um, the, the incumbent providers often don't treat replacing cables with urgency, making this form of connectivity actually quite unreliable and hugely frustrating, leaving us without internet connection for days or weeks, as I'm sure some of you have experienced. Um, Fiber, on the other hand, transmits information as light impulses along flexible grass fibers um, at incredible speeds. In fact, you can reach up to speeds of a gigabit per second. Um, it can also handle much higher volumes of traffic, meaning your download speeds are less affected. The technology also allows for ease of upgrade, meaning that um, if you need to upgrade the line, you're able to do this quite seamlessly with no disruptions as your internet needs grow. Um, as an example of how um, the speed differs from ADSL to fiber, on average, it can take you an hour and 30 minutes to download uh, one HD movie on an ADSL line, whereas if you had to do the same on a fiber line, it could take you all of five minutes. Um, the um, Mehul Mohammed asking a question. Um, can I use my current Vox VDSL Fat Pipe 3 gig, 300 gig data bundle with a fiber package? Um, Mohammed, um, this is all dependent on the fiber supplier within your network. Um, if you, for example, you're on a Vumatel network, you unfortunately won't be able to use your existing ADSL Fat Pipe account on that network. We would provide you with a new Fat Pipe account. Um, moving along, does fiber cost more compared to other connectivity solutions like um, ADSL? Fiber is actually very affordable compared to other forms of connectivity. Depending on 
um, the speed and your bandwidth requirements, uh, bandwidth requi consumption requirements, of course. As an example, a 10 meg ADSL line with around 200 gigs of data can cost you on average around 650 to 700 rand a month. So it's depending on your rates from your relevant ISP. Um, for a very similar price, maybe slightly less or even slightly more, depending on the network you're on, you can get a 20 meg fiber line with uncapped data and in most cases includes Wi-Fi router for almost exactly the same price. Now that is double the line, speed, and unlimited data, which is extremely cost effective. Obviously, the, the larger line sizes that you require, you're looking at a little bit more costly um, monthly for that link. Um, FCTH deployments, however, do come with higher installation costs compared to other forms of connectivity. These can range anything from 1,000 Rand up to 2,850 Rand a month. And this is really just the cost for the supplier to pull in that infrastructure, that physical fiber cable from your property boundary and into your home. However, with this being said, um, having this type of technology means that you can actually enable um, services like video on demand services like Showmax and Netflix, which as we all know, are quite a lot cheaper in comparison to the likes of your DSTV. You're also able um, to use services like uh, voice over IP calling, um, which means you're effectively making calls using your internet connection. And this comes with um, often a lot cheaper call rates than your traditional call rates linked to um, a telecom landline, for example. So you are able to save um, on your, your voice usage bill as well. Um, so taking that into consideration, enabling a fiber link into your home um, and using making use of these services, you actually are able to cut household expenses at the end of the day. Um, we have got a question from Nicholas. Um, are we going to see any data prices drop in the near future? Um, absolutely, Nicholas. Um, I can't uh, tell you when and how and how much, but um, the trends in the markets, um, prices have not increased on any forms of connectivity. If anything, over the past six months to a year, pricing on um, links as well as data costs have actually come down. So that trend will definitely continue um, in the future. How do I get um, fiber to the home? Fiber is effectively a pretty new technology being rolled out. In fact, it's only around three years old. Um, currently, the fiber suppliers, now when I talk about a fiber supplier, I'm talking about the likes of an OpenServe, a Vermital, or a Frogfoot, um, are busy rolling out um, their FTTH networks within all the major metropolitan areas within South Africa, being Johannesburg, Durban, Cape Town, um, and Bloemfontein, mainly. They have very aggressive rollout strategies. It's an absolute land grab at the moment. So at the extent of the rate that the fiber infrastructure is being rolled out within South Africa is really, really fast. And I think within the next um, five to 10 years, most um, major cities within South Africa um, will have FTTH available to consumers. Um, some people now get confused between a fiber supplier and an internet service provider. So I'm going to just take a little bit of time and explain the differences for you and hopefully clear up any confusion that might be out there on the market. Um, fiber supplier is effectively the company that is laying the infrastructure within our suburbs. They are the company that is digging the trenches and causing a little bit of chaos within your suburbs and laying the fiber cables into the ground. In some instances, some suppliers may choose to run um, aerial fiber, meaning that they will run the fiber cables between the telephone poles within your suburb. Now, this is a lot quicker form of deployment, um, but it's not as robust, for example, as a trenched form of deployment. So most fiber suppliers today prefer to go with a trenched method of deployment. Um, the fiber supplier is also responsible for bringing 
that fiber cable into your home. So um, effectively pulling the cable from your property boundary, fiber may be sitting, um, most of you might notice a little gray box outside your wall on your home that has fiber sitting in that box. They're responsible for pulling that fiber cable from that box and reticulating it through your garden and into your home and terminating it on a customer premise equipment or device. This step, however, only happens once you as a consumer have ordered a fiber service with the relevant ISP of your choice. Um, fiber suppliers then make various line speeds available to us as an ISP who have partnered on their network, meaning there are various line size options available and they range from 4 megabit per second right up to a gigabit per second, depending on the fiber supply within that area. We also have options of um, symmetrical or asymmetrical line speeds. Asymmetrical meaning that your download speed is faster than your upload speed and symmetrical meaning that the download and upload speeds are the same. Some networks only have symmetrical line speeds available, which is fantastic. And some networks offer both and some networks only offer asymmetrical. Um, also, what's important to note is that Fiber to the Home is actually a best effort service. Full line speeds and 100% uptime are not guaranteed. There are instances where a fiber break may happen within a suburb and it can take a couple of hours to even sometimes a couple of days to actually restore that connectivity within that suburb. Um, so it's not a guaranteed service and therefore us as the ISP do not able to guarantee 100% uptime or full speed throughput on those that um, fiber service to your home. Now I'm moving on to the ISP and where and when do we come and fit into the picture? So the fiber suppliers who build the networks in most cases adopt an open access um, model, meaning they will partner with various internet service providers who are able to deliver an internet connection over that fiber line to the consumers. So effectively, the fiber supplier installs the fiber line in the ground and the internet service provider is responsible for enabling that fiber line to the end customer by activating an internet connection over that. Um, so now you're probably asking yourself, who decides who rolls out fiber in my suburb or when does fiber come to my suburb? So a lot of the time what happens is a homeowners association will take it upon themselves to approach a fiber supplier, um, put together a case study, gather some interest from the residents within that suburb, and then the fiber supplier obviously has reasoning then to uh, bring fiber within a suburb. It can also happen on the reverse where a fiber supplier will look at the FTCH footprint within um, South Africa, maybe identify um, a location where there are a grouping of suburbs that don't have an FTTH footprint at the moment, and they will then approach the relevant homeowners associations or people to get the required permissions to roll out fiber within those suburbs. Um, now, as you know as well, all suburbs consist of SDUs, being single dwelling units, which are standalone houses, and MDUs, which is your complex and town houses. Now, if you're in um, a live fiber area and you're in a complex, and your neighbor who's in a single dwelling unit possibly is live and connected with fiber, and you might not be, have fiber infrastructure um, in your complex yet or be live, the reason could be is that the fiber suppliers require body corporate approvals from your complex to install that infrastructure um, within in the complex. And sometimes these approvals can lead to delays, meaning that although your suburb is live and you're in a complex, you might not quite be live yet because we still are, they could be still waiting for those relevant approvals. Um, um, there's a question here. Uh, are you guys doing fiber in Rotopert CBD? Um, you can um, pop the address into our go onto the Vox Telecom website at www.vox.co.za. Um, navigate to the Fiber to the Home page 
pop your address um, in the availability checker and we'll be able to inform you. We'll check our database of maps against our partnered suppliers and we will be able to inform you if um, it is feasible within your, in your area. Um, alternatively, you are able to call um, our call center sales agents on 087-805-0003, chat to one of the sales guys and they can um, double check the feasibilities for you, talk you through the process and advise you accordingly. Um, okay. um, so now I'm going to talk to um, how to choose a fiber package that suits your needs. So put water here. Okay. A lot of people are not exactly sure what line size they're going to need um, when choosing a farm to the home package. Now there's three things to really consider when making this decision. Um, namely being, what am I using the internet for? How many people in my household are going to be using the internet? And how many devices are going to be connected at any given time? Now, if you're someone who um, just uses the internet for basic connectivity needs, you want to browse the web, you want to check your emails, maybe do some internet banking, catch up with the family on Skype, a little bit of social media, uh, a 10 meg line should be more than sufficient for um, this type of activity. If you're going to look at doing a little bit of online gaming, maybe stream some show max or Netflix um, or download some HD movies, you're going to need to look at a minimum of a 10 megabit line per second. If you want to um, run a security surveillance within your home and live stream some uh, video surveillance, as well as maybe you want to do some video conferencing to the office in, in different locations around the globe, um, you're going to need at least a minimum of a 50 meg line size and up. Um, we do have line speeds that up range from 100 meg to 200 meg up to a gigabit per second, depending on the fiber supply within your area. Another thing you need to take into consideration is how many people in the home need to use the internet and how many devices are going to be connected to the internet at any given time. In a household of maybe two people, a husband and a wife, um, you each have a smartphone, you each have an iPad, and you've also got a smart TV. So that's effectively already five um, devices connected to the network um, at any given one time. So you've just got to bear that in mind that the more people and the more devices that are connected to the internet, the less speed there is to go around. So that's a really one thing to consider when choosing. A line speed. Um, Vox offer um, a range of products and solutions um, to our consumer base of our five to five to the home networks uh, providers. Uh, we have two flavors of uncapped bundles, being the basic and the pro, and then th these are available on all our partner networks, as well as on some of our networks we offer um, capped bundle solutions. So I'm going to talk you through what is included in our bundles. So first and foremost, um, what is included in the bundle is the actual fiber line rents or whatever line speed that may be that you have chosen. Meaning that Vox, um, as the ISP, will invoice you, the customer, for that line speed as opposed to the fiber supplier invoicing you directly for that line rental. Now this is great because um, you're only getting one invoice from one supplier, um, and it also makes support a lot easier if you're only dealing with one company. The second thing that's included in all our bundles is our um, uh, fat pipe data. Um, some of you might be familiar with our fat pipe brand. This is Vox Premium um, bandwidth that we provide, where it will be capped or uncapped um, in our bundles. And I'll talk a little bit more to, to the um, features of our, our um, bandwidth that we provide. On our, um, this is unshaped bandwidth on our network. Um, on our capped bundle, we have um, a data rollover feature, meaning that um, you can accumulate six times 
um, the allocation of your base cap. So if you have a 10 meg fiber line with 100 gigs of data, for example, you can roll over a maximum 600 gigs of um, data on your bundle. This data also never ever expires. So um, it's there for you to use as and when you need be and will never expire. On our uncapped bandwidth, um, we uh, apply a fair usage policy um, on certain of our FTTH networks, only one really being the OpenServe network. Um, if you'd like to have a look at what that fair usage policy is, um, you can pop onto the Fiber to the Home page on the Fox Telecom website and download a copy of our fair usage policy there. With regards to uncapped on all of our other Fiber to the Home network um, providers, we do not implement a fair usage policy on any other network, meaning that Vox is giving you a truly ultimate, um, fantastic internet experience. Um, let's see if there are um, some questions here. Um, I'll get to your questions um, uh, as we carry on. I'll just carry on talking about what's in the bundle. Um, the fourth thing that we include in our bundle, which is really, really cool, um, on our pro uncapped bundle and our capped bundle, is we give you um, for free an MTN SIM card with one gig of mobile data um, for free every month. So you can use this SIM card, you can pop it on an iPad when you're on the road, or take it with you on holiday. So we're ensuring that we're keeping you connected to the internet, um, whether you're at home or whether you're on the road. With regards to voice, voice services, on our Pro and Cap bundle, um, it includes um, the Vox Verbi, which is um, an application that you would download onto your smartphone, and it's used to make calls um, over um, the Vox network. Um, and with that, we are giving you uncapped calling to all South African destinations including the mobile networks. So it's truly a pro unlimited, uncapped bundle we're providing you, uncapped data, uncapped calling at a really, really, really competitive rate. It's truly an exceptional um, um, bundle that um, provides all your basic connectivity needs. Um, on our capped bundle, we supply you um, for free a Vox Superphone, which is a cordless, um, handset um, and which is connected to the internet that you would use to make voice calls and with that comes um, cheaper call rates than the traditional telecom landline call rates that you might be charged um, can bring you cost savings of up to 30 percent on your telephone usage bills there all our bundles are also on month-to-month -month contracts um, meaning that you don't need to make commitments um, you can try Fiber to the Home if you would like to upgrade um, your service. It's easily um, upgradable, um, but there is no commitment or month-to-month -month contracts are available. So if you're someone who um, likes the peace of mind of not having any surprise bills at the end of the month, definitely look at going for one of our uncapped bundles. Um, so I'm going to go to a question from Ryan. Um, he's saying, sorry, I joined late. When do you expect to deploy into Plumstead? Um, Ryan, um, you might have missed um, uh, where you can check feasibility, but I'll just go through it again for you. If you go to the Vox Telecom website and navigate to the Fiber to the Home page, pop your address into our availability checker there. We will search our uh, list of databases against our fiber suppliers and we'll be able to let you know if fiber is available. Alternatively, you can um, give a call to one of our sales agents on 087-805-0003 and they will be able to um, advise you if fiber is feasible within your area or give you an idea of when it could be coming. Okay. Moving on to um, what is the process if you are feasible for fiber and you want to order a service. So now you're at the point where you have chosen a Vox bundle and you've placed your order 
um, and you're ready for a fiber service. What we will do once we've received your order is we will place um, an order on the relevant fiber um, supplier. Um, they will then um, validate that order and confirm that it is feasible. Um, if there are any issues, they will contact us as the ISP to say there could be a problem, there's delays with feasibility or whatever the sorts, and we will communicate back to you um, on an update of that. Alternative, if they're ready to go, they will um, give you the end customer a call to schedule an installation date with you at a suitable time. Now, on installation day, they will determine with you the best possible route to draw the fiber um, from your property boundary into your home and put it into terminating it onto the customer premise equipment into your home. Um, some providers do this and the installation on the same day. Once you as a customer are happy with the route that they're going to go, um, they will then start with the civil build. Some suppliers um, do the site survey beforehand, go back, put it in a formal planning document, which they will then supply the appointed contractor and then schedule either the day after or the next suitable time for you to come and do the actual civil works within the home. Um, so uh, some suppliers you might get more than one visit from, other suppliers you'll only just get one visit. Now this in-home installation can take anything from two to six hours to do the actual civil work within the home. So please just ensure that you do um, allocate that time um, for the providers to do what they need to do to get that fiber in. Once the line is installed, they will test the line, ensure that it's working properly, um, and once they're happy, they'll sign off the installation with you. They will then come back to us, the ISP, inform us that um, they have completed the job and they've tested the link and all is running fine, and now effectively handing over that service to us, which is now then ready for us to go and activate your internet connectivity and come and install your Wi-Fi enabled device. Um, once we get this handover from the fiber supplier, Vox will then give you a call to schedule a suitable date and time for our engineer to come out and install your router for you. Once Vox has come and installed, they will run speed tests and ensure that the service is up and running and working um, as it should be. And once you're happy and signed it off, um, then you're ready to enjoy fiber and enjoy the benefits of fiber. Um, this entire process from you ordering the service with Vox to Vox coming for the supplier coming and installing the link and Vox coming to install um, the router can take anything from one week up to eight weeks. Now this is completely supplier dependent and obviously dependent on you as a customer and your availability. Our suppliers have different um, ETAs and lead times. Um, available on, uh, on a live area and a live network. So it's just quite important to bear that in mind that um, it is quite a, it can be a lengthy process to get the fiber in, depending on which fiber your fees uh, uh, is laying the fiber within your suburb. Um, if you already have um, fiber installed into your home, it's obviously a lot quicker because the civils have already been done. All we need to do effectively is the ISP is and inform the network with the fiber supplier to activate that um, service on um, the Vox network and we will send on the engineer with our routine equipment to get you to connect it. So it's a much quicker turnaround time if there's existing infrastructure already within your home. Um, so guys, um, unfortunately that's all that we have time for today. I hope this was an informative session and I was able to answer um, some of your questions and assist in the decision making of choosing a fiber bundle. If you've got any further questions or comments or feedback on this session, um, please let us know. You can give us a call on 087 805 0003 or you can go and visit um, the Vox Telecom website. Um, thank you everybody for joining and have a fantastic day and happy fibering. <laughs>